Fast chemicals are back in the news. Now they're called forever chemicals because they don't naturally break down over time. PFAS compounds found in waste from industrial plants or in many household products you may dump down the drain. They end up in the sludge left behind at wastewater treatment plants. For decades, that sludge was hauled to farms across Maine and used as fertilizer. And the PFAS chemicals that sludge contained eventually leached into the groundwater and into grass and plants. Of course, animals eat that greenery, and now a do not eat advisory has been issued for deer harvested in the greater Fairfield area. It's because high levels of PFAS were detected in deer meat there. New Center Maine's Carly Dion has the story from a tagging station in Oakland. This is in fact the first time that we have tested deer for these chemicals in the state of Maine. Maine wildlife spokesman Nathan Webb says eight white-tailed deer were recently tested from Fairfield and surrounding hunting areas. Five deer had high enough levels of PFAS to warrant a do not eat advisory. So why test now? We became aware of the potential for concern over contamination in wildlife um, and decided it was prudent to test deer um, given that they are consumed by, by hunters. The department plans to do additional testing in deer and likely other wildlife species in that area in the near future. Those farm areas became contaminated over the years through the spreading of municipal or industrial sludge for fertilizer that contained PFAS. These animals have been consuming forage in the affected fields and have accumulated the chemicals in their meat by consuming that food source. The DNL Country Store here in Oakland is one of the closer tagging stations to the affected area. The owners here say most of the hunters who have come through to tag their deer this morning are aware of the do not eat advisory, but say they plan to continue eating their deer meat from that area anyway. You know, what can you do about it? Nothing. Alan Boucher says he cuts deer meat as a hobby to make a little extra cash. I had one guy call me up this morning. He says your deer, he had a deer in my freezer and it came from that area. Boucher says a biologist from the state came by to pick up the contaminated meat this morning. The stuff tested 60%. Stay away from it, stay away from it, don't eat it. The Maine Department of Inland Fisheries and Wildlife says venison from the advisory area can be disposed of in the trash or landfill. I mean, it's still a sport. Maybe you still can go out there and hunt and get the thrill of the kill, and, but don't eat the meat. Hunters who harvested a deer from the advisory area this year will be eligible to get an additional deer permit next year. In Oakland, Carly Dion, New Center, Maine. And anyone who thinks they may have eaten bad meat can get a blood test to measure PFAS in their system. But that test cannot tell you from where the PFAS came or if it has or will cause any health problems. According to the CDC, most people in the United States have some amount of PFAS in their blood.